Hey, just a quick little guide on how to actually play the Pillar of Tomorrow event. So when you're on your home screen, you click on the Pillar of Event banner right here. And if you haven't completed all of the Pillar Historia events yet, then you will actually be taken to a different screen. And instead of this one, you will be taken to the Pillar Historia screen, which is this one, where you're basically told to play for every single of the Pillar Historia events that you see in front of you. And... Once you've played for all of them, you also have this special button on the very left that gives you bonus story. So once you have all six of these stories completed, once you have all of the Polar Historia uh, events completed, which you can play right now if you haven't completed them in the past, uh, just the main story. So for example, if I click right here, I get into the Amarillis event uh, about the Pax Romana and you get these 30 battles to do these. And once you're done with all the Pillar Historia, you see that the uh, the banner right here for Pillar of Tomorrow takes you to the Pillar of Tomorrow special event where you fight against the Symbol Witch, which is approaching a singularity. And in this battle, first off, when you get here, you will have to do seven normal battles against just some regular uh, Mitch Witch Minions. Mitch Minions. And... After you've done those seven regular battles, which will take you maybe about two minutes, you get to this screen where you are fighting against the symbol witch. And how does that work? Well, first off, you have these two buttons right here. It doesn't really look like much. There's just this sort of uh, octagon in the center, and then there's a circle on the right, which is weird. So you have this blue octagon here and then you have the sort of yellow circle to the right, which is kind of weird. It's a really weird UI. Let's just be real. This is a really weird UI, okay? But the important part is the you have this circle on the right and this is how you gain special resources called rings and in order to get these rings right here you are uh, you can play one of three different types of battles and each of these are more difficult than the last so the easiest one is on the left the medium difficulty is in the middle and the hardest one is on the right but even the hardest one is like really really easy so just always play the hardest one and this is just a regular battle against a regular symbol witch just a regular witch basically where you throw in your new anniversary at you or any other unit that you have but really you probably should have anniversary at you by now even though there's going to be a second anniversary unit most likely not 100%, but most likely there's going to be a secondary anniversary unit on the 22nd. So keep that in mind. That anniversary actually is probably going to be the only anniversary unit. Um, and you go into this battle. And then what's going to happen is that if you have anniversary actually, it's just going to one-shot the enemy immediately. Uh, as we will see it out now. But basically you fight this witch. Uh, stuff happens, the witch dies. And then once this witch is dead, um, you will gain two resources the first resource is as i mentioned rings you get these rings things little this rainbow stuff you get this rainbow rings but you also get dp dp is the one resource that actually kind of matters for your uh rewards like the actual rewards for uh, magia stones for example it, or just generally your rewards you gain from missions um on this screen are mostly going to be about how much dp you got like right there you can see oh if you get 20 million dp or whatever you get this much you get a 10 roll ticket or whatever if you get 10 million or is it just a million yeah it's just a million dp you get this much and this is like 2 million dp for the 10 roll or whatever and these are your missions so dp is what basically tells you how much you've actually done it's like the progress marker they're like progress points basically but so what are the rings for? Why do you even why do you even get rings? Well, the reason you get rings is because you can spend 100 rings before going into the big boss battle. And this big boss battle is this center octagon. So by going into the octagon, you are able to spend or not spend 100 of these rings. And if you spend 100 rings that you gain from fighting the split, which is down here, which is 30 for one of these battles on the highest difficulty, you're able to increase your stats. Now this stat increase, how much is that? How much stats are you actually getting out of this? It's a lot. So as you can see right here, my anniversary Yachio has 116,000 attack. And my infinity Iroha has 108,000 attack. I think it increases the, uh, the attack by like tenfold or something, like some crazy amount. 
but basically you gain an absolute insane amount of stats by spending those 100 rings to increase and that's the main reason why you want to get rings so the idea is uh, you get rings to increase your stats for the actual big boss battle okay so you go into the big boss battle and we're going to do it right now i'm going to do it at the end of this video um, and you fight against the symbol witch and the symbol witch functions like a kimochi battle where you have six turns six turns to do as much damage as you can and when you have done those six turns and you've done as much damage as you can that damage then gets bundled together and shot at the actual boss and you can see at the very bottom here this is as much damage as everyone has done in the entire world which is mostly Japan for my record, uh, done combined. So everyone's damage counts combined, and you can see that currently we have done 4.5 trillion damage, and you can contribute as well to this damage. You'll even see a new sticker right here that shows you how much damage someone has just done to the witch. Uh, I've only done uh, fought the witch like a couple of times, and my damage is somewhere between 150 million to 200 million. And I'm also auto-battling the witch because I don't want to play this like manually. But the point is you just throw a bunch of damage at the witch uh, and when you throw damage at the witch using this big boss battle you gain even more dp so you gain a little bit of dp from f farming rings but you get even more dp from fighting the big boss and you get more dp the more damage you have done and i think you can get up to at most a hundred thousand uh, dp per battle if you do some insane amount of damage. So you can get somewhere up to 100,000 DP, depending on how well you do in these six turns of battle. Now another really important feature that you've seen on screen this entire time already, shout out to Muffin by the way, because I think I've seen your stamp many, many times by now, as well as some other people in there uh, who I can't read because I can't read Japanese. Sometimes, like I am Yato, sometimes you'll see English people pop up. But most of these people are just Japanese. I, I can't read the Japanese that fast. Then, oh, that's another English person. Look at that. Um, but you have this button on the very bottom left. And if you go to the right tab of these two, you can select one of your Magia Report stickers, which hopefully you picked up your Magia Report stickers during uh, your April Fools event, because I think these are the stickers that you get through the April Fools event. So during the April Fools event, you could uh, get some stickers and hopefully you picked up some of them. So you can select a sticker in here for any of these. And then you have on the bottom left, you can select a comment that goes along with the sticker. Hopefully you can read Japanese. I can read at least an, uh, as much to identify what all these mean. For example, you can just say uh, good morning or hi all. And you can say good night or yasume. Uh, and you can just say very standard phrases. There's only a handful of phrases, as you can see right here, uh, like Yoroshiku or uh, what do we have? Yatta. Very, very simple stuff. Just saying like, hi, cool, awesome, nice, let's go, thank you. Not even, actually, thank you is not even in here. But yeah, like really, really simple things that you can say, mostly because they probably want to control the stuff that you can actually say. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh no, this is nothing. Um, but yeah, once you have selected what you want to say, um, then you can just say, okay, I I have this sticker, okay, selected the sticker and the comment, and you press this button down here, and now this has been sent into the internet somewhere, and other people who are playing Maga Record right now will see this pop up as a sticker in their game. Awesome. And the tab on the left here, so this, this was the right tab, the tab on the left is basically all the stickers that you've already selected in the past. If you want to have like quick access to your favorites, basically. And this is on a one minute cooldown. So once this cooldown is over, I can send another sticker with another comment um, that I might want to send to other people. But to get back to the actual boss fight, the last thing I want to show in this video, if you go into the actual boss fight, I'm going to increase my stats right here with 100 rings. You go in here, and I'm just going to auto-battle this one. I haven't activated my actives, but I'm just going to auto-battle this one to do a bunch of damage against the symbol witch right here. 10 to the power of minus 43 is her name. I just hit the damage cap because you very likely to hit the damage cap with everything you do. Like every big double in this uh, mode with increased stats. And then you just go for six turns as you would, would on a Kimochi battle. Just that on a Kimochi battle, you know that your MP carries over between battles. 
that doesn't happen in here. You start from zero every single time. So yeah, you go for six turns, uh, six battle, uh, six rounds here, and then you've completed a battle. All the damage you've done gets shot into the witch, and I don't know how much HP the actual symbol witch has, like how many trillions and quadrillions of HP the symbol witch has. But the point is, just do as much damage as you can, and you gain uh, rewards depending on how much damage you've done and how much DP you've gotten and once again you gain dp by just fighting the witch a bunch every time you fight the witch you gain a bunch of dp and you get more dp the more damage you have done and that's basically all there is to this event let's just uh, watch my do gay girls fight the witch a bunch more but yeah i'm not gonna do much damage on just auto battle I mentioned earlier though that there's probably going to be a second anniversary unit. Yeah, there probably is going to be uh, not 100% guaranteed, but there have been some points pointing towards there actually being indeed a second anniversary unit that drops on the 22nd. And this event only lasts until the 22nd. So you only have five days to participate in this event, get all of the rewards that you can, get the 10 roll gacha ticket that you can, and then hopefully you are well equipped to roll for whatever happens during the anniversary. We don't know quite yet what actually happens during the anniversary, but we will see. On the 22nd, I'm going to give you guys the big update for what happens during the anniversary, so stay tuned for that. The anniversary update will happen very soon. So we're about nearing the end here. My guess is that maybe there's like 100 million or something, since auto battle often doesn't do that much maybe 100, 140 148.9 million damage is probably what i did right there is would be my guess and we did Ooh, that was really close actually oh i was actually, i was less than two million damage off can you believe it i was less than two million damage off. that's pretty good my my sense for this game is is pretty darn fucking on point my, my sense for this game is, is pretty on fucking on point, dude. So yeah, I, you see, with this damage that I dealt, I got 100,000 DP. Which I think is the maximum you can get per battle, so I did pretty well. And now I'm gonna send more stickers, and I'm gonna fight more enemies. So by the way, every single fight you do against the Split Witch right here to gain rings, every fight you do against the Big Witch takes 10 AP. So this is AP, you can spend all your AP, immediately spam it all, into the witch if you want to and complete all the missions immediately so yeah go ahead spend that spend that ap fight the symbol witch win the battle it's up to you it's only up to you to win the battle against the symbol witch that was that hope we're going to enjoy this and ring the bell fight the witch and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>